Hello everyone, Rad here from Radkutarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising monthly tarot reading June 2018 and this is going to be 4 card enhanced tarot spread so <clears throat> the first position or 4 position enhanced tarot spread excuse me so the first position does expresses up uh, Aquarius's topic of the month the second card shows up Aquarius's uh, challenges that they need to face during the month then we do have third position that shows up uh, positivity which the moon has to offer for uh, Aquarius and last but not least we do have the position known as the final outcome or the result of all that for Aquarius for June 2018 and as this is a an enhanced spread the enhanced spreads are uh, multiple cards per position or in our case these are going to be two cards per position so let's start with the first card here guys this is going to be the top for Aquarius and this is quite a start we have the six of uh, wands with the hangman which means that the Aquarius are going to make quite of an, an improvement in every single field of their life now we do have finally the clearance that Aquarius is needs in order to push their things through because the hangman does point to setback you had or the catalyst is the hangman which is the setbacks and the main card, the Six of Wands, points to the advance to those setbacks where you make your efforts no longer futile and on top of that you are able to actually do a, a lot of work so you can, um, <clears throat> you can expect opening into your career peak experiences into your relationships in general and uh, as well accolades uh, in your name being um, recognized for certain achievements rewards and not to mention that you may receive a helping hand or a, a very very tempting offer that you will find very hard to refuse because it's based on your performance very important to acknowledge here is that this was the test that you were going through until now those setbacks you had either emotional or either material and you are able to endure them so th therefore you are reaching a, a very important milestone all right but it will be a grave mistake here if you think that the hard uh, the the toils are over all right there is a lot of work to be done still and you have to keep up the flawless performance that you are showing to the world thus far either career wise or either relationship wise <clears throat> then the second the, the second card does expresses up the challenges that you will have to face we have the uh, knight of swords with the two of pentacles all right and so <clears throat> these cards are pointing that uh, i will try to explain it that way so you have a setback right and right now, in as the June starts, you will see how rapidly the positions are start opening for you, or rather the doors are start opening for you. And it's going to be challenging to choose which one to start from, all right? So this is what it, these cards are expressing. Now, you will want to go with a particular plan moving on forward, but these cards are pointing that plan is not the thing you need right now. What you need is adaptability. What you need is to be playful. What you need is to follow your emotions and your feelings because we do have the knight of swords which points to a, a very swift decision making so this is going to be a challenge for you to make a swift decisions all right and those decisions needs to be consulted with the emotions and the feelings of your heart you need to be tenacious you need to be um courageous you need to step for your right for for one's right for your personal rights and also you need to be rather adventurous and what i mean is that when it when there is a certain risk in there it won't hurt if you try to take it why because as i said guys you have already reached a milestone all right you cannot drop lower than that particular milestone <clears throat> So for you Aquarius, it will be very important to really give a, a motion or rather to give a momentum to that air energy you do possess, you know, because the Aquarius for what I know has that supreme air energy or the supreme thinking 
from every single other uh, other sign and you have to put that into the matter here you have to exert that into your things being very flexible with your mind being very adaptable but in the same time also doing what you feel it is the right to do all right instead of completely base, basing uh, basing yourself on the on the logic here <clears throat> then we do have the positivity which the mont has to offer for you that will be the eight of cups with the nine of wands so the positivity this month <clears throat> it is about recognizing the right path the eight of cups is about that the eight of cups is about recognizing um, the misfortune you know so as soon as you initiate something and that's why you need to take those swift decisions because you will have the time to back yourself from it and then take another different perspective the eight of the eight of cups especially with the nine of wands points to unlimited energy that you are going to have that is a vital energy that you are going to have to explore different perspectives because with the eight of cups into a positive position it means that even though you find one perspective unsatisfiable, immediately another one opens for you, all right? And that's why you will have to do a lot of opting here, a lot of, uh, of changing directions, and this is where you, uh, the adaptability comes in, you know? And uh, <clears throat> with, the nine of, uh, with the nine of wands as well, this is a, about conscious changes you are going to as well exert, changing up your desk at your work, you know, renovating your home, for example, uh, surprising your partner into your relationship either. And those, those conscious changes, they are conscious because they will be entirely in your control. You can do your life the way you want to do it. I don't know if you are realizing what kind of an opportunity you do have during that month Aquarius is to make your life the way you want to make it, all right? <clears throat> And also the Eight of Cups does point you, uh, Aquarius, is that you will not lose any hope whatsoever, even if you do make any mistakes, because those mistakes will be in the frame of... Uh, 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 of the acceptable margin, if I may say it that way, which is not going to bring you down by any means. Also, uh, that these cards here are pointing uh, for few of us that they are going to find the right path in life, all right? Through a lot of um, juggling, juggling around to a lot of, um, uh, how can I, wobbling into a mazes, finally, finally, they are going to find their uh, correct path into the field that they are struggling with. But this is for the few of us, because uh, while these cards are pointing to, uh, are having that kind of an expression, yet again, they are minor arcanas, all right? And so the one, uh, so that particular meaning can be exerted for one, one has to already had a severe steps into that direction all right that could play out for the final step where you are actually stepping on the path meant for you to walk on but for every single one of you is going to be the very initiated uh, initiated procedure to step on that path which is still a thing you know but you starting to make those small changes realizing that these changes will make your life very comfortable these changes will make your um <laughs> ups and downs you know going through the ups and downs in the daily routine much more easier and lighter and as well those changes will uh, give you the confidence that you can control to a, a big extent your personal unfoldment and your personal life and the result of all that is the lover's card with the seven of pentacles a very interesting combination here because the lover's card it could reflect to a love that you are hesitant hesitant to invest in all right but also the lover's card could reflect to a choice which you are hesitant to make so we have opting here all right and then the result of all of this opting is finding what you really want to do from there from that milestone you have reached and yet you are stalling the choice why is that because that choice is against is um, is in between what you have to do against what you what you want to do. So there will be a um, how can I place it? 
uh, there will be a lack of synchrony in between your logic and in between your emotions and that's why you are going to stall the choice which there is nothing wrong with it as a matter of fact that is the correct way of doing it because as I said in a previous reading seven of pentacles has a hidden meaning and the hidden meaning here is that there is a, still something to happen which is going to make the right choice obvious for you all right so it is very important not to rush into those big decisions you know the decisions that you are going to do that you have to do during this month should be in the frame of that milestone where you make those small conscious changes but it shouldn't be for for example career swap it shouldn't be for uh, uh, leaving a relationship or applying for divorce or these kind of big tremendous decisions which are going to traverse your life upside down you know or turn your life upside down but rather uh, this month is about making your life uh, more comfortable you know based uh, because you will now have the clearance to do it there is no setbacks anymore basically the dead-end situations gone from your life and now you can do um, you can do what you want to do the way you want to do it Aquarius so with that being said this was your monthly tarot reading Aquarius for June 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you are interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in this in the description of this video Rat signing out now see you next time bye